Apocalypse. Hey there, friends. I've got a lesson in Scratch I'm going to show you. Uh, sign in. If you haven't created an account, you may create one quickly. Uh, just remember to make sure you're 13 or 14 so it's easier to set up. Uh, We're going to hit Create. If you see the Enable Adobe Flash Player message, simply click on Pop-ups and Allow Them. Click on Flash and Allow Them. And then when you click off, it'll say, hey, we want to reload and tell it fine. You may reload. When Scratch launches, they give you the cat sprite. I want to get rid of the cat sprite, so I'm going to hit the X, and I'm going to hit Delete. Whenever you start a project, it's good to name it. I'm going to name this one Buttons, and I'm going to put my initials. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to click File, Save Now, so that I don't lose my work. First thing I want you to do is to click on a new sprite, and since we named it Buttons, it's going to be all about buttons. So when you click things, you'll see that there are three or four or five buttons that you can play with. Let's grab the circle button, tell it OK. Let's arrange the button on the left side of our screen and let's give it a event. The ones we want to use are called when this sprite is clicked. So when people click the button, cool things will happen. The first cool thing I want you to have happen is for it to play a sound. Now it's important when you play a sound that you make sure you play it in a way that is not offensive and annoying to the people around you. So turn down your volume after you listen to this movie to test out your clip. Like I just tested mine. Pop is alright, but I want to add custom sounds, so I'm going to go to sounds and I'm going to click on the sound from the library. And I'm going to look for something in the animal sounds. And I want to add a rooster. Once again, making sure that I find a way to not do that in an annoying fashion. Click the OK button to bring that into your project. And then you can switch back to the scripts. And instead of having pop, change it to the rooster. And make sure it's not annoying. Holy cow, is that probably annoying. I'm going to go back to pop but you get the idea of how you can add a button and give it a cool noise. Let's repeat that step by adding another sprite, grabbing that other button, telling it OK. Let's arrange this sprite underneath that sprite. And then for this one, let's go to scripts and let's do something a little fancier. Let's add a repeat. We'll still go back when the sprite is clicked. Let's set it to repeat three times and let's make it play a little tune by having it do play the drum for a quarter of a beat and then rest for a quarter of a beat and then we're going to duplicate that but on the second time instead of playing drum one let's have it play drum ten and let's see how that tests out. And not very epic, but you can see that it could be kind of fun. Let's also go back to button one. And let's see what it's like if we put the rooster in, but we set the volume to 40%. And see if that makes it so we can still use cool things without them being totally annoying. And at least it's effective. And you can test it to see if it's even better as you adjust it. All right, we've practiced adding sprites. Let's add somebody to play with. Let's bring in AZ Hip Hop. Arrange them where you want. And let's use our same technique. When we click on AZ, let's have him do a few things. Let's start by doing the looks and have him say hello, but instead of yo or hello, let's have him say yo for two seconds. Let's go back to control and have them wait one second after that. And then let's go back to looks and have them say, what's up? And then you can test it by clicking on them. That's kind of neat, but watch this. We can bring in the switch costumes. 
and I'm gonna actually put that after so notice if I break it out bring it down bring it back I'm gonna make him move ahead of time so I'm gonna click another switch costume and put it up above and on this one I'm gonna switch using the arrow key and I'm having to do an R cross now watch when I click on him he's got his yo Wait a second and does a what's up and then changes I'm gonna change those de delays from one uh, two seconds to one second just so it speeds it up a little and then I'm also going to show you that you can do decimals I'm gonna put 0.5 for that one so you can see how you can speed it up so it makes it even more cool and you can play and make that as crazy as you want let's spice this all up quickly by clicking on a backdrop pick one that you think is going to be fun to work with I am going to grab the hallway and then I'm going to bring in one more button and one more sprite and I'm going to make them work together so here's my button three I'm going to bring it in I'm going to arrange it over on the left side and then I'm also going to bring in another sprite and this time I'm going to bring in the ballerina just because it seems fun for what I want to do I need somebody that has several costumes if I look at her quick she has got four awesome co costumes which works great for me I'm gonna go back to button three and then let's create the script for it let's start of course let's start of course when uh, this sprite is clicked and then we need to broadcast a message and we're gonna call this message we're gonna change it just call it dance and I'm gonna have the ballerina dance so I'm gonna put a B after it so it's gonna send the dance B message then what's cool is when I go to the ballerina she is gonna get the when I receive dance B and when she receives dance B I want all these things to happen so I'm gonna have her repeat and I'm gonna change it to five times and then I'm gonna have her switch through all her costumes so we can actually see her dance so I'm gonna go look I'm gonna bring in the next costume choice and then I'm gonna bring in the wait one second choice and then when I click on this button you'll see that she actually kind of dances and it repeats for five times so the dance goes on for a moment if I change that number to 10 it's cool but by using this message command I was able to send my message so that this button controls this item let's click save now which is always a good practice to get into and I'm gonna say now it's up to you to see how awesome you can make your little project turn out master the buttons master the potential and keep scratching